Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Montanez here. I'm finally coming back with another plugins in depth video. Today I am talking about this bad boy here, the CLA Vocals. I actually had a few people, a few different uh, users on the YouTube channel request it, and I'm finally getting around to it. I've had it on my list because I used it quite often, and um, I just got busy. I got busy, then I got sick when I was supposed to do it, but it was good that I was busy because I want to tell you guys, all of you, amazing viewers is go check out my app i've developed it with your boy chizzy uh chizzy stevens uh me and ham did catching villains the teen titans go record together and we put out an app called audio coach it's available now for free on ios and android and i'll put a link in the description below you can check out the website it's audiocoachapp.com and it's right there. Check it out. You can download it for free. It has great tips, mixing tips. There's ear training in there. It teaches you frequencies, compression, uh, delay times, mastering frequencies, things like that. There's like a reverb calculator, a piano. You can pull scales. A lot of great information me and, me and Chizzy did. Check it out. It's free. Let's get into this plugin. So I love this plugin. Something that I learned about the CLA lineup, about his plugins, especially this one, is when these bad boys are um, at zero, that doesn't mean there's nothing being added or nothing being taken away and things like that. That's just the level, the optimal level where CLA sets his stuff. So when you boost it, you're adding more of that CLA sound at that, for example, on treble, you're adding more of that CLA treble. You're pulling back a little bit of that CLA treble. So at zero here, that's CLA setting. And then when you add it, that's adding more of his sound. And then when you take it away, that's taking away the CLA sound. As you can see, you get a bass fader, you get a treble fader, a compressor, reverb, delay, and pitch. Then you got settings here, and all of them have three different settings and types. Some of them are self-explanatory, for example, reverb, a tight reverb, a large reverb, or a chamber, self-explanatory. Then you got the delays, which is slap, eighth, and quarter notes self-explanatory and then you got a pitch widener which is stereo wide and spreader which is pretty much self-explanatory and then you got the compression treble and bass here which has different slots which is just the term you know the bite of the sound the top end of the sound or the roof of the sound and the sub lower and the upper so those are just terms used you know in the audio world and then you got your input and output faders here and this is the unique part about the CLA lineup. One of CLA's thing is like when I was at NAMM in the beginning of the year, someone actually asked him, should we be pushing our plugins to be in red and you know, when the clip and blah, blah, blah. And CLA says, hey, if it's not red, it's dead. His big thing is he wants to see red lights. So on this plugin, that's what you see. You see red lights. You get this LED indicator here. On this indicator, it has three different colors. Well, off, so I guess four. So you got off then you'll get a green color, which is good. Then you'll get a yellow color, which is optimal. And then you'll get the red color, which is very hot. Those are the, the settings for those colors, but you know, you use your ears, make sure you use your ears because even though it's red, it doesn't mean it's clipping. You just have a hot signal going in there. But if it is clipping, it'll still show red, but it, it could be clipping. But red doesn't always mean clipping on the CLA plugins. So let me play this. I forgot to talk about the song. So the song's amazing. The song's by a friend of mine. His name is Jeffrey Holmes. Very super talented producer and artist. He came with me and he showed me this record. He goes, hey, dude, I want to show you this record, Dumbo. Give me some feedback on it. I heard it. And I was in awe. Oh, I was like, dude, that song is tight. The song's not out yet. And when it comes out, I'll definitely put a link in the description below. I'm just going to play this first little verse here. Um, super talented guy i mean he's tight let me play a little bit and i'm actually going to buy i'm actually going to play it how it is excuse me i'll play it how it is and then i'll bypass the cla now i'm always screaming out because my thoughts are way too loud my heart is so damn heavy my soul is weighing me down okay so that's what the cla in now let me bypass it real quick now I'm always screaming out Cause my thoughts are way too loud My heart is so damn heavy And right away, if you listen closely, you can hear that the life is gone. And it's like, what happened there? I mean, yeah, I have a little bit of reverb there. And, you know, I pulled a little back from CLA's preference. And then I added a little more bite in there. And I pulled back some lows, but... Really? Does that take away the the life from his voice? And let's put it back in. Now I'm always screaming out 
I mean, it's such a dramatic change. It's subtle, but it's such a dramatic change. You can feel it. It just feels different. So I'm going to zero this out here and I'm going to show you where it starts. My soul is weighing me down. Now cutting through my skin. That's all I did was I want that color and I boosted it. And then I just brought the output down, you know, just to um, like a makeup gain type of deal. Since this is boosting, you, you want to cut on the output. And that's what I did. And that color was so nice and comfy. And the color, getting it to be in the optimal level, really made his vocal pop out the way I wanted. Now let's go to this lower section. In this lower section, like I said, if you're at zero, that's CLA's preferred setting. Going through all my tests, and I'm not gonna bore you, you know, using analyzers and stuff. I did the work for you guys <laughs> and really found out for you guys about around roughly, not even roughly, it's pretty darn close to what these frequencies are hitting at. When you go to sub, the sub frequency, it was pretty much a bell shape, roughly between 60 and 250 hertz. And I will we'll bring that up for you to show you it. Let's go to EQs and let's just get the stock bad boy here. The bell shaped looks like that. So depending on what you're, how much you're boosting here or even cutting back, that's what it's doing. Then lower, you got your lower. So it's roughly a curve like that. That's what you're boosting when you go in the lower setting. And then when you go in the upper, for me, what I found out is the upper is actually switches over to a shelf and it was a shelf like that. That's what those frequencies do. But at the same time, like I say, guys, is just use your ears. If it sounds good boosting the upper or boosting the sub or lower, then it sounds good. And keep in mind this is also when you have all these bad boys turned off like this, the plugin's not necessarily off. It's still going through that color phase because it's still hitting the input section here. So you're still grabbing that color this. Now I'm always screaming out. You're still getting that optimized color there and everything. So keep that in mind. When you have these guys off, you're still getting the color through the input. And so you still want to make it up or adjust the volume with the output fader there. Let's move to the treble section. So the treble section was something similar. But of course, the top end, starting off from the bottom here at byte, about 4K where it started the boost. And it ended about 8K looking like that. And as you can see where it's really boosting is right here at 7K. And that 7K is, you know, if you're working with audio and you talked with a lot of other mixing engineers and recording engineers, they really tell you that's the, um, the expensive sound. Let's bypass that. Now I'm always screaming out Cause my thoughts are way too loud My heart is so damn And then if I bypass that and let's boost you. Now I'm always screaming out Cause my thoughts are way too loud My heart is so So it sounds similar. So let's move to top. And that's what it looked like. It sounded like it's, that it was boosting that much. So as you can see, it's about 10K. It's getting boosted with a wide, uh, not about a medium-sized bell shape there. About 10K there. Now I'm always screaming out Cause my thoughts are way too loud You know, it's really just bringing out all the air inside the vocals, that entire range. And then the last one, roof and roof. <laughs> roof or roof? <laughs> so um, the roof, the roof area there was a shelf like before. And the shelf actually seemed like it started at the 4K area and it goes all the way up. And it's just, you know, basically boosting all the high end there. The upper was boosting all the lows. So that's an easy way to remember is you're boosting the highs or you're boosting all the lows. All right, now the compressor. So this compressor here, the compressor isn't anything crazy. Basically, you got a set threshold. You got a set attack and release time. I didn't use it because I'm already using the LA-2A here. But I'm actually going to say it sounds pretty similar to like using an LA-2A where it's real smooth. The attack's not too fast. 
the attack's not too slow, the, the release isn't enough too fast or too slow, they're, they're set pretty nice. Pretty much what you're doing here is when you're adding more on this one, you're pretty much increasing the, um, the peak reduction and the gain at the same time, like the Arvox, pretty much. When you pull down that Arvox, then you know it's compressing it, but it's also putting up the makeup gain automatically. To me, the push was more of like a four to one ratio then the spank was like closer to an eight to one. And then the wall, you get it real like limiting sounding. So it was already infinite to one or a hundred to one, 10 to one even. So here's the push and I'll even bring it up so then you can hear it when I switch to spank, the vocals get crushed. Now I'm always screaming out Cause my thoughts are way too loud My heart is so damn heavy my soul is weighing me down Now cutting through my skin Just to see what lies within Now tell me what you find, babe Throw it back in Now I'm always screaming out Cause my thoughts are way too loud My heart is so damn heavy My soul is then you got your reverb and your reverb is really cool. Like I said, all you're really doing is just adding more reverb, pretty much extending the reverb time when you add or you pull it back a little bit and you got tight, large, and chamber. Tight to me sounded like a plate reverb. Large was more like a hall. And then you got chamber, which is just the chamber reverb. Now I'm always screaming out Cause my thoughts are way too loud Large is really cool because to me that sounds almost like I said it's a hall, it's an auditorium sound almost. Now I'm always screaming out because my thoughts are way too Let me add a little EQ. You can really get a cool reverb out of this. And let's just roll off some lows. So I'm actually going to pull out a little bit of those highs there and some of these guys and let's add a little bit of these mids here. Now I'm always screaming out cause my thoughts are way too loud. My heart is so damn heavy. My soul is weighing me down. Now you can even hear it made the entire voice wider. You can actually hear it in both the left and the right ear after that. So that's really, really cool. Then you got your slap um, while well, your delay, which is slap delay, eighth delay, and quarter note, which is self explanatory. Like I said, you add more, it's just giving you more. Now I'm always screaming out, cause my thoughts are way too loud. My heart is so damn heavy. My soul is weighing me down. Now and the cool thing about these here is, you know, you're adding more and it's getting louder and stuff. And then when you pull back, it's getting lower and anything. So it's pretty much a send knob to a set effect. That's what you're doing. It's like, a, you know, auxiliary sends. So you go here and you're sending more of it, you know, and then you're pulling it back a little bit. And then you got your stereo widener, spreader, pitcher, dude. Now I'm always screaming out Cause my thoughts are way too loud And it's real cool, you know, you can get a real nice width sound there I'm not sure why they call it pitch, I guess maybe because it's switched by a few cents maybe um, But yeah, it's called pitch, you know, I would have just called it width or something But, you know, it's really neat to use um, My favorite setting on this is actually wide whenever I use it Spreader to me gives it too much of a phase issue So I like to use wide now I'm always screaming out Cause my thoughts are way too loud My heart is so damn heavy My soul is weighing me down Now cutting through my skin and Whenever I use it I usually just leave it at zero and just slap on a wide there and it sounds good. So here's the song. I'm going to play it a little bit more so you guys can check it out. I really hope this video helped you out to at least understand some more of these settings on the CLA vocals. It's not hard to use. Like I said, it's pretty much just normal EQ stuff, compressions, just adding more of the input signal, you can say, and or bringing it back. It's like you're pushing more of the input here to compress more or you're 
bringing it back. That's what the compression's doing. Then for the other two, the reverb and delay, like I said, it's like if you're just sending it from the aux here on a bus. You can add more or you can pull it back. That's pretty much what that's doing. And then your pitch is the same thing. You're pretty much sending a signal to like a doubler type of plugin. Really cool stuff, but here's the song. Now I'm always screaming out Cause my thoughts are way too loud My heart is so damn heavy My soul is weighing me down Now cutting through my skin Just to see what lies within Now tell me what you find And throw it back in Let's go a little more <laughs> now fire through the pressure Now fire with your voice Now enjoy the pleasure And just get lost in the noise If you guys are paying close attention to it, I went more of a uh, LCR panning on this one Left, center, right one. And just get all right guys hope you enjoyed this video like i said in the beginning go download my app and chizzy's app audio coach now for free in the play store and the app store for ios and i hope this video helped as always keep creating music take care everybody